In this video, we're covering the top picks for the best home theater receivers. From entry level to the best we've ever heard, we had a ton of fun picking out the best performers in each category. Now, if you're thinking about upgrading your home theater receiver, you won't want to choose one until you watch this. All of these winners have Dolby Atmos, eARC, App Control, Bluetooth, 4K video switching, and music streaming. We'll take a look at the number of channels, watts per channel, preamp outputs, room EQ, amp matrixing, number of independent subwoofer outputs, and if there's a phono section. Now, if you aren't familiar with any of these features, we'll link our AV receivers buyer's guide below. And if you're still starting out building your home theater or media room, check out our home theater central at audioadvice.com, which has a ton of buyer guides and our free home theater design tool. First up is the best home theater receiver under $750, the Denon AVR S770H. Denon was one of the first high-end brands Audio Advice brought in way back in 1979. They have always produced very well-built gear designed to last a really long time. The S770H has Dolby Vision and can upscale your 1080p or 4K content all the way up to 8K. Both DTS and Dolby Atmos upscaling are present to take that content that is only in stereo or 5.1 and upscale it to your favorite. If you don't have height channels currently, it has Dolby Atmos height virtualizer and DTS virtual X to simulate the immersive height channels. And speaking of height speakers, the S770H gives you a huge set of choices for types of height speakers to match any configuration. The power amplifier section in the S770H is very impressive for something in this category with all discrete components and a large power supply. Now this results in a very dynamic sound for its price and is one of the main reasons that we have it on our list. Like all of the devices on this year's list, it includes Bluetooth streaming and the Denon can transmit to your Bluetooth wireless headphones for easy late night listening. And with Denon's PlayFi built in, you have tons of choices for streaming music along with all the popular voice control options. In addition, the S770H has you covered with Odyssey multi-EQ room correction. Odyssey has been around for decades and the Denon visual user interface makes it so much easier to get it right when you do the measurements. With its ability to deliver 5.1.2 Dolby Atmos and all of its great audio features, the Denon AVR S770H is our top choice under $750. When you step up to our best home theater receiver under $1,250, the Denon AVR X2800H gets you a more robust amplifier section and a great deal of flexibility in your choices for the immersive height channels. The AVR X2800 weighs in at 21 pounds with an amp section that will drive most home theater speaker systems with ease. Its dynamic power capability is excellent in this price category. Now, there is no question that Dolby Atmos or DTS-X can give you an incredibly immersive surround sound, and its popularity has resulted in many different kinds of speakers delivering those height effects. Many receivers just have one setting for height speakers, but the Denon X2800H gives you a selection for each type of speaker and its position. This means its internal processing knows more precisely where in the room the speaker is to give you the most immersive experience possible. This feature, along with its great amplifier, is why we like the Denon in this price category. To go along with its great sound, you will get all the voice control options from Siri, Alexa, and Google with Dolby Vision and DTS Virtual X and Dolby Atmos Height Virtualizer, plus upscaling of non-immersive audio to either Dolby Atmos or DTS-X. And music streaming is easy with Denon's built-in Heos app, which gives you access to all the major services, plus Spotify Connect is on board. Hi-Res audio lovers are covered with its very good 192K 24-bit built-in DAX that can support most formats. It also includes Odyssey Multi-EQ XT Room Correction, which is one of the easiest to use room correction systems on the market today. The Onkyo RZ50 is by far one of the best values in the home theater receivers category. It has nine power channels included with the preamp outputs for 11 plus two subs, allowing you to add a power amp later to go with a full blown 7.2.4 Dolby Atmos speaker configuration. All six HDMI inputs are 8K HTCP 2.3. Onkyo has always been known for leading the pack with useful features and the RZ50 is packed full of them. You have app control, voice control, several ways to get streaming music into it and bi-directional Bluetooth for headphone listening. A unique feature that Sonos ecosystem fans will enjoy is the ability to connect a Sonos port and it will show up in the Sonos app. But the big reason for the success of the RZ50 is the fact that it has Dirac Live. Dirac has been a favorite room correction system of audio connoisseurs for almost a decade, but it has previously only been found in much more expensive units. Now this unit comes with a microphone for setup, but 
If you are serious about implementing direct properly, we suggest that you purchase an aftermarket mic like the mini DSP for around $100. Now we also really like the fact that you can just add a two channel power amp and go to a full 11 channel immersive Dolby Atmos system. And with all of the preamp outs, easily add more power down the road if necessary. There are some home theater receivers that sound better, but nothing we know of has all the great features for the price of the Onkyo RZ50. Next up is the Sony STR-AZ5000ES. We started to create two more categories for this one called the best for renters and the most tank-like build. First, the AZ5000 is built like a tank for sure. It weighs over 42 pounds and comes with a five-year warranty. When we listened to it in two-channel mode, we were super impressed with its audio quality and our dedicated stereo system. And it's no wonder with its huge power supply and well-designed discrete power amp section. It is also the first receiver that we've seen that asks for so many measurements when you are doing the setup. Most just want to know the distance your speakers are from your main seat, but Sony wants you to map out a 3D image of your layout, which is actually pretty quick with their great on-screen guide. And the result is some of the most immersive surround sound that we have ever heard. Another area that really stands out from the others is how it allows you lots of options for surround speakers. For many people, running wires is just not possible. So Sony gives you the option of using a wide choice of great wireless surround speakers, which is very cool. And if you just have no way to do surround speakers or go for a seven bed speaker layer or do both surround and rear, it has phantom settings that do a very respectable job of simulating where they should be. With all of the latest video tech, an incredibly beefy power amp, and processing that is outstanding, this is one heck of a great value for a full-blown 11-channel surround system. We see this being the perfect choice for a lot of situations, or if you don't need 11 channels, you can go with the STR-AZ3000ES and get some great same features and save some money. When we move into the level of home theater receivers starting around $2,500, we get into some models that have some seriously good amplifiers inside. You will get bigger power supplies and some serious weight. Now this is the case with the Marantz Cinema 50 with its great amplifier section and pretty serious weight of almost 30 pounds. The 11 channels of processing with nine amps let you do several different possible home theater speaker configurations. By adding a two channel power amp, you can go to a full blown 7.4.4 system. Yes, it actually has four discrete subwoofer outputs for home theater fans who are serious about their bass. Multiple subwoofers provide a much more even bass response and there's nothing like feeling the bass slam of four great subwoofers. The fact with the Cinema 50, you can calibrate them each separately is just super cool. Now, Marantz uses Heos for all music services, and you'll have all the major voice control options available. Dolby Vision, low latency for gaming, and 8K upscaling are also built in. And there's a pretty decent moving magnet phono section included too. With a massive power supply for a receiver in this price range and all the discrete components, the Cinema 50 has a very rich and warm sound that just makes music and soundtracks so enjoyable. You'll also be able to get the most out of it with a super easy setup system. It literally walks you through every step, making it almost impossible to miss anything. Now, once you've done the setup and run the Odyssey Room EQ tests, it will optimize the speakers for your room. Now, another great feature for late night listening is the dynamic volume, which reduces the loud explosions you might hear during an action movie. The final icing on the cake is the option to add Dirac Live for an optional cost later. Now, we love Dirac Live, which will take your sound to an even higher level. When you care about sound and wanna have plenty of channels of subwoofer control, the Moran Cinema 50 wins our spot as the best nine channel home theater receiver option. The Anthem MRX 7 40 is all about great sound. We have found two things that are probably the most important in how good all of these receivers sound. It's the amplifier portion and the digital portion that does all the signal processing. Well, Anthem has put this same type of technology into their receivers as they do in their big separate power amps with massive power supplies that offer your speakers huge current reserves and the digital section uses some of the very best DACs available. And another thing you get with the Anthem receivers is Arc Genesis. Each unit comes with a professional style calibrated microphone with a file for that exact mic. Arc Genesis is now as good or better than Dirac as they have now given it the ability to blend your subwoofers and set levels and delays. We also love the way that you can set up four different profiles for room correction. You also have room to grow into a full-blown 7.2.4 Dolby Atmos system with 
preamp outs on the MRX740 for future power amps and taking things to a level no other receiver does, you can reroute amp channels. Let's say you need two more channels to go from the included recommended option of 5.2.2 to 5.2.4. You can purchase a great two channel power amp for the main two channels and use power amp matrixing to reroute those amp channels to drive any other two channels. Anthem also has almost everything covered on the video side and also has all of the latest music streaming options. But it's really the sound of the Anthem receivers that wins so many people over. When you want great sound and only need seven channels for now, but with room to grow, the Anthem MRX740 is the best choice. Arkham has been well known for making amazing sounding stereo gear for decades. Audiophiles have always respected their passion for audio, with their two channel components always getting glowing reviews for their sound quality. Now the AVR11 has a much larger power supply section and power transformer than you typically see in a home theater receiver. This is apparent when you feel it's 37 pounds of weight. The Class AB amps sound remarkably similar to those that you'll find in the Arcam stereo amps, which is saying a whole lot for a home theater receiver. Plus, playing back your high-res music files will be a delight with the dual ESS 9026 Pro audiophile DACs. Of course, AirPlay 2 and Chromecast are built in as well, and Arcam's Music Life app works great for most of the streaming services. And the great thing is you don't have to give up anything from a home theater feature standpoint to get into the sound quality of the AVR11. As a matter of fact, you get all of the latest with seven 8K HDMI inputs, Dolby Atmos, DTSX, Oro 3D, and Dolby Vision. You also get future expansion flexibility. You can simply add a four channel power amp to the AVR11 and use its 12 channels of processing power to go to a full blown 7.1.4 immersive Dolby Atmos system. And for room correction, Dirac Live is built in, which like we said, is one of the very best on the market. But what puts the AVR11 on our list is its sound. If you are the type of person who wants to get into an excellent home theater system, but also cares dearly about your two channel audio, the AVR11 is the perfect choice. You have future expansion options, one of the best room correction systems on the market, and world famous Arcam two channel sound. The Anthem MRX 1140 is basically an MRX 740 with four additional amp channels, an upgraded toroidal power supply for improved performance, and a few more goodies. We won't repeat all the great stuff that we said about the MRX 740, but the additional four channels let you install a complete 11 channel Dolby Atmos system with all of the needed amps built right into the receiver. We feel it also sounds slightly better from an audio standpoint than the MRX 740, although it's more about having the extra amp channels on board. There are two other cool features. It has processing for 15 channels inside. This means you can go all the way to a 9.2.6 Dolby Atmos system just by adding a four channel power amp. Secondly, it also has two totally independent subwoofer outs. These are tuned individually to blend each subwoofer perfectly, no matter where it's positioned with the rest of your speakers. To us, this is a huge deal. And if you are going to take a full Atmos dive and get 11 speakers now or later on, this unit offers amazing sound in one package, saving you the space that will be taken up with an additional power amp or amps that you would need to add to the MRX 740 later on. However, if you are just starting out with seven channels, you could go with the MRX 740 and add the additional amp or amps later on for the remaining four channels if you think you will stay at 11 speakers. But if you think you might want those wide fronts or three pairs of Atmos, the MRX 1140 is going to be the way to go. If you're going full-blown Dolby Atmos, the MRX 1140 is our clear winner under $5,000. If you wanna keep everything in one AVR and have the most immersive home theater on your block, look no further than the Denon AVR A1H. Just make sure you have a very sturdy shelf to hold up this 70 pound beast. As object-based home theater has gotten more popular, this channel count for the most immersive experience has been growing. If you did every possible option in Dolby, DTS, or Oro 3D spec, you could actually reach higher, but the great news is that Denon has all kinds of possible configurations for whatever way you decide to go. Or if you do not use all 15 channels, you have the option of bi-amping your front speakers for even better sound. The processing power in the AVR A1H is first rate with a bevy of high-end ESS DACs. It is the only receiver that we know of that can decode Dolby Atmos, DTSX, IMAX enhanced, Oro 3D, and even Sony's 360 degree spatial audio. And we love the fact that should you decide you want more power for any of your channels, you have preamp outs for every single one. You have everything needed for high speed gaming and that future 8K TV you might be thinking about. Our tests of the AVR A1H for audio listening were also very impressive. It has tons of slam and dynamics, which is no surprise with its massive power amp section. 
Heck, the Transformer alone weighs 29 pounds. Then when you throw in its four independent subwoofer outs, there really is just nothing like it. While the AVR A1H is not inexpensive, when you look at how good it sounds, how flexible it is with speaker and subwoofer configurations, and the fact that you have preamp outs for all of the channels, it actually starts to look like a pretty good value compared to trying to put all tech into separates. All right, I hope you've enjoyed our best home theater receivers list. Hopefully it's helped you decide on a great path to go down for improving your home theater or media room. Now our best advice here is to think about where you wanna be five years from now when you start to make your choice. A few extra dollars spent now might allow you to do some more upgrades in the future. Now if you're thinking about buying a home theater receiver or upgrading your current one, just call or chat with our experts at audioadvice.com. We carry every major receiver that meets our criteria and provide a price guarantee, free setup and calibration videos, and expert lifetime support. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of our latest content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.